Since the nationwide strike was enforced on Monday, both international and local journalists have been covering the protests. Here in Lagos, I've been joined with several of my colleagues, and I have with me here Mary Ikoku, she's a private media practitioner. Mary, do you think this protest, as big and bigger as it's getting, do you think it would give us what we want from government? Um, looking at things, it should, really. Um, but looking at the government, the body language of this government, um, I, I really can't um, say what the outcome will be. But, but the issue is this, the media, they're doing their bit. And I must say that my colleagues are really trying their own. And in their own corners, they are doing quite um, a lot, I must say. And I would really have to commend the Nigerian media. They've done quite well. You're a photojournalist and you've covered protests in the past. So in your own estimation, what is the difference between this protest and the ones you've covered in the past? A great, a great, great difference between this protest and the previous protests that I've ever covered. This protest, what we need to give this protest, mother of all protests in Nigeria, in the world, the difference is clear because you could see a lot of crowd here, yeah? a lot of crowd here. Yeah? People are not being paid even a penny for this. You as a journalist, a veteran in reporting labor matters, what are some of the challenges you know, that you have encountered in covering this assignment that you haven't encountered in the past? New challenges? Well, we, we are exposed to a lot of danger. Because, you know, we can't come out with our cars and we have to leave our homes very early, around 5.30 a.m. Because we must be here. We're living far, far away from this place. But we must come because it's our duty we must, we must perform. So we, and it entails a, a, a lot of trekking. Like me, um, I'm just looking this young, I'm 52. And we still trek about 120, 130 kilometers because we are covering the strike, the protest, we must trek. Because when those way you are covering, are trekking, you cannot be in any vehicle and say you are covering the protest. You must be part of, you are part of the action. There's a huge crowd here, and you've been here since morning, right? Now, as somebody who works in the media, do you think this crowd would make government yield to the demands of the people, or you think this is just a jamboree? This is not a jamboree. This is just like the beginning. You know, it's going to start to build till they yield. Because no responsible government will sit down and see this volume of people gather in one place for one cause. In fact, then any government that does not yield to this is going to just fail. We work for a government agency. And you know, what we have seen in the last four days is the government media has ignored the protests. But yours hasn't. Why, why are you different? I would say that um, mine is different because we have an, an objective and mission why it is set. In as much as we are ready to report objectivity, we also ensure that we do not say anything that could cause the crisis, add to whatever problem that we have. What we want to do is to ensure that on government side we report what government is supposed to do to bring peace to the community and on community side or the people side we report what the people want so that peace will be um, in the country. The purpose of my agency and the aim of which it was established is to make sure that anything that will bring development and peace in this economy is what we are um, what, what is our focus? That's it from the protest grounds here in Lagos. I am Adere Sola, Ade Banjo. We now take you back to the studio for the rest of the news.